Hello, this is Spidey1958, and a lot of people ask me questions on the inventory management mod or uh, video I did on exactly how to build it. So I'm just going to do a quick little one here to show you how to build a small uh, six unit one like the one I built here. I've simplified this a little bit and reduced the number of resources so that it's even more efficient. So let's go down here and uh, start. First thing you need to do <coughs> is have a room that where the ceiling's at least four blocks high so that you can open the top chest. And you're going to want to usually start at least uh, three blocks. I prefer four blocks from the wall so that you have enough room for the machinery to go behind. The next step is we're going to build four columns alternating like such. Then go to the back side and three blocks up on the back of each column put an extra block. We will ultimately be getting rid of this, but we'll need it for placing some of the blocks later on. Okay, the next step is to place our actual chest. So between each set of pillars, place a chest at ground level and one at the three block set, like so. Okay, next, go ahead and place a diamond pipe between each set of chests. Then go ahead and get out your pick and remove the block two blocks up so that we can connect these together. Don't worry, we're going to hide these behind covers so it will still look nice when it's all done. Okay, then go ahead and get your iron pipes out and put an iron pipe linking each of the diamond pipes and then one at each end. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a chest down here. This is going to be my far end. And this is the catch-all ch chest for anything that the sorters don't catch. It's just a depository for it to go on. On this end, I'm going to put an iron pipe here with a st stone pipe out this way. And then I'm going to put a... Uh, wooden pipe, which I will have to get here. Give me just a moment. And we're going to go ahead and put a wooden pipe down here. And we're going to put a chest in front of that. And right here, we're going to put an engine and then a redstone torch. A redstone engine, a redstone torch. This is just an alternate way besides the obsidian pipe of putting stuff back into the system. So next thing we need to do is tell the sorters what to sort. So let's go ahead and make this an ingot farm. So we're going to go ahead and grab some iron ingots and some gold ingots. And let's go down here to and grab some bronze and some tin and some copper and some refined iron. Okay. So the first one here the black slot, which is the lower slot, we'll go ahead and put it, have gold go there and iron go up. Then we're going to go down to this one. And we'll go ahead and make this one, oh, let's make this one. Tin goes down and copper goes up. And then this one here. We'll go ahead and make it uh, refined iron goes down 
and bronze goes up. Okay, we now have the basic storage system. Uh, you would just hook a pipe here from your quarry or your furnaces or however, whatever you want to put into this basic system. So next we need to add the actual retrieval part. So we're going to go back here and we're going to get our filters and we're going to put a filter behind each chest. We have to have these blocks up here so we can get those filters placed. And they never place right so you'll get out your trusty screwdriver and you're going to click on each one until you get the small hole pointing directly away from the chest. Okay, then go ahead and get out your pickaxe. And we're going to go ahead and remove these extra blocks we put up here. Next, we take our transmitters. And we're going to put one next to each of the filters. It doesn't matter which side because we're going to go ahead and use our screwdriver here and right click on them till the red bar points to the filter. Like so. Now we're going to go ahead and right click on each one of these. We're going to set them to a frequency. Oh, uh, as you see, I have a bunch of others. So we're going to go ahead and set these to the 100. So I set that for 100 and then I'm going to set a name. This is the upper one, which I don't remember what I, we put in there. Whoops. Okay. So if we click here, gold is down, iron is up. So this would be iron ingots. Set name. And we'll make this one 102. As long as it's a unique number, you can use whatever numbering scheme you want. Because we're actually going to use the names for finding them. And this will be gold ingots. And then we just continue on the line, incrementing our number each time by one. Make this one 103, and this one is copper. So we'll name it copper ingots. And we'll name this one down here. Make it 104, and we'll name it tin ingots. And go down the last two here, and set this one to 105. Name it bronze ingots. And set this one to 106. And uh, we'll call this refined iron ingots. OK. So now the the wireless is all set up, we still have to go to each filter and tell it what to pull out. So, gold, if we want it to only pull out one gold, which is the case in most cases, we'll just put one gold in there. And then what I'm going to do is go and take the rest of the gold bars and go ahead and just drop them into this chest so they'll start filling up the system automatically. 
Okay, the next one is iron. Iron, usually when I make iron, I'm going to want a few, so let's make it four bars of iron when we push the button. And again, we're going to go back over here and just throw our iron in here. So this is tin. So let's uh, normally when we need tin, we're making batteries. So, so let's put four tin in here when we push the button. And up here is copper. Uh, usually we want three copper because we're making wire. And we go down here. And refined iron. Oh, let's say we're normally going to be making a machine block. So let's go ahead and make it eight refined iron. And then up here, our last is bronze. Usually we use bronze to make wrenches, so let's put five bronze in here. Now we can put just one or however many we want in here, but that's how many we're going to get when we press the button. So this part of the system is basically done except for actually getting it out. So I'll show you how to do that in a second as soon as I throw the rest of this in so it can be stocking up our chest while we're uh, talking. So next we need our thematic pham tubes. I can't say that word, I'm sorry. So we're going to connect these up. And we're going to connect these up as well. And we're going to go ahead and run this tube out this way to a chest. Oh, I'm out of tubes. Well, let's go get some more. I have some over in a chest here. Do -do. And then we just put down a chest. Now all we need is a way to tell it to pull the item out into the chest. So what we'll do is we're going to put down three blocks like this. On this block we're going to go ahead and put a button. And then we need a transmitter. So let me go ahead and pull up a transmitter here. transmitter there. Use our trusty screwdriver to rotate it to correct direction so that that points towards the button. Now all we have to do is click here. Say we want uh, iron ingots. We'll go down here and double click on iron ingots. That will set this transmitter to that frequency. And now every time we press this button it will send us four iron ingots because that's what we set the filter for. So go ahead and press it. Here they come. Up the tube and into the box. And that's how it basically works. Now, so now, either by putting in this chest or sending automatically through this pipe from our smelting system, we now have a way to organize all of our ingots and call them at the touch of a button. As usual, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments or any suggestions. I'm always open to suggestions in that. Uh, otherwise, subscribe if you uh, enjoyed this video and have fun Minecrafting. Thank you.